There you are. I'm so glad I found you. With how far these tunnels stretch, you're pretty lucky. When I heard loud noises over the radio, I was beginning to think something had gone terribly wrong. That's a good job I have my GPS tracker with me. You're going to need dusting off and fixing up, but not to worry. I'll take great care of you. Let's get your hair out the way and have a look at you. Hmm, it's a bit dark down here, so I'm going to have to use a torch so I don't miss anything. Luckily I have this. I always pack it with me just in case. Hopefully I don't disturb any bats. Sorry, I know it's a bit bright. <laughs> just want to make sure. Okay, there's no visible signs of intense trauma, which is good, but you never know, so I'll clean you up first and then perform a quick medical check just to make sure. Sadly, you're not my first cave accident patient, but I suppose that gives me some knowledge, so I roughly know what I'm doing. Mm. It may sting a little bit, but... I'll try and be gentle. Sometimes the most smallest of injuries are the worst and most annoying. There's nothing worse than dirt in a small wound, in my opinion. <laughs> You're doing really well. Considering you had quite the fall, you seem relatively all there already, which is great. Yes, I've been in a few scrapes of my own. To be honest, I think anybody who's done what I've done for the amount of time would be extremely lucky to avoid any injuries at all. Yeah, it doesn't put me off though. I still love doing it. I just love the adventure. The outdoors. Or I guess in this case, the indoors. Hmm, <laughs> yeah. I do have many stories to tell involving certain artifacts. One would be a certain artifact that was said to bring peace between two tribes in South Africa. The dispute raged on for many years and when I caught on to information about the whereabouts of this artifact, I felt it was my duty to try and retrieve it. Yes. Sometimes it's about knowing when to get involved and when to leave things alone, but I couldn't pass this up. The artifact is said to be hidden deep in the underground cave system of Scotian and Slovenia. Normally I like to hold on to the artifacts myself, but I also couldn't pass up seeing peace between two tribes after so long having not getting on. Yeah, nobody really knows how it got there, but if I were to guess I would say it would be somebody that doesn't want peace between the two tribes and they hid it somewhere where they thought nobody would find it. But luckily I have many connections regarding artifacts. Not much gets past me. 
It was quite coveted and many people wanted it for different reasons. Usually when I am on the expedition, there is normally always a rival group searching for the same thing, so I have to make it my duty to get there first. <laughs> normally I do like to venture alone just because it's sometimes safer and easier and that way I'm not worrying about others. <laughs> not that it's a problem but it is awful to see somebody you care about having had a nasty fall or accident but I'm glad it's me with you here and not somebody else. I'm no expert but at least I have some experience. <laughs> anyway, one of the people that I was on the expedition with had a nasty fall. It happened right before my eyes. One minute I was stood there talking to them and the next the ground swallowed her up completely. I quickly scrambled towards the hole that she had fallen through. There was a cloud of dust that stopped me from seeing clearly, but I blindly threw myself after her. Luckily, she had not fallen so far because there was a ridge below. I had a firm anchor on the ground above, so I was fairly confident it could carry both our weight. She was fine though, and she had a badly broken arm, but only a few cuts and bruises began to show after that. She was relatively lucky, to be honest. Caves can be really dangerous places if you're not careful. But even if you are careful, you can never truly tell when the ground's going to give way. You have to really watch your footing. And as well, you have to watch what's above you also. There has been many cave collapses in my time. But as you can see, I have made it out of each one. I attached her to my harness and we ascended back through the way we came down. She was in decent spirits considering the nasty break in her arm. It was terrifying to watch, like something out of a movie I suppose, but again that's why you have to be careful and react fast when you're in a cave. Right, that's you all dusted off. Now what I'm going to do is clean the wounds with antiseptic. It may sting a bit, but it's the best thing for you. I'm going to use plenty because just want to make absolutely sure. Oh, sorry. I know it stings. It's the worst part, really. <laughs> but you'll thank me for it when you don't get sepsis from a little cut. <laughs> that would be a bit of a sad way to go. You're doing really well. I'm sure you've had a few scrapes in your time, and this isn't the first time. Somebody's been cleaning you up. <laughs> hmm. Well, I do like to help as much as I can. It's always more comforting when someone else is there as well. One time I was 
travelling alone and came across a cabin and I fell myself that not too far although when it's in pitch black it's scary all the same and even when you've finished falling sometimes you're not entirely sure if you have because you have no depth perception and it can get rather confusing but I had to check myself over and I had no one there to comfort me <laughs> I suppose that's why I've grown to be more experienced when looking after others it's from my own experiences of looking after myself Ah, oh, down here well, as we are in a cave a lot of the creatures well, all of them in fact live in total darkness and isolation therefore they are entirely blind we found one of the rarest of creatures down here to be a cave wolf spider they are rarely seen but when they are, they are usually no more than 30 of them at a time yes, there are quite a few there are quite a few creatures down here, you'd be surprised but yes even though cave wall spiders have extremely large eyes they are entirely blind so some would say that's kind of pointless <laughs> fascinating creatures though I find cave creatures to be some of the most interesting in how they adapt to total darkness I imagine with all the technology these days and constant lights we would be pretty useless, wouldn't we? Ah, oh, bats Well There are roughly 110 different species of bats But the most common are the Mexican free-tailed bat and the grey bat which are most commonly found in caves like this one hmm. yes, they use echolocation to navigate as they are entirely blind hence the phrase blind as a bat but despite being blind they are actually not blind at all due to their echolocation abilities yes, they are usually found in large colonies but they're not normally dangerous on their own and there is a common misconception that all bats are rather large and scary and I think through society if something is scary, normally it's perceived as large and looming, but actually they're very small on their own having said that, if the colony was to move all at once I imagine they would be quite terrifying especially if you have a fear of bats, specifically which luckily I do not have do you? Hmm. Well, even if slightly nerved by them I'm sure we'll be just fine Normally they are asleep and tend to stay out the way of any light or any movement that goes on Other creatures that exist down here would be 
centipedes, scorpions, small snail-like creatures, what you would expect to find, but I wouldn't worry about those too much. You just have to watch your footing and above your head. I think the main thing to worry about would be cave collapse or any kind of trauma to the structure of the cave, which is like about that woman I told you about. What happened to her? Sadly, there is most of the time no way of knowing. Even if you scout the inner cave, you never truly know what dangers lie when you go deeper and deeper into it. But I suppose that's part of the adventure in a very dangerous way. We will be just fine though, so don't worry. As far as dangerous creatures go, this is certainly not the worst place. So you don't have to worry about that. Okay, that's you all cleaned up. Are you hurting anywhere else at all? Your shoulder? Okay. Can you move your arm at all? Right, that's good. That means there's no sign of a breakage, but it's best to keep an eye on it just in case. You never know. Yes, you would have landed awkwardly on it, so... Hopefully that's just all and it may just be a slight sprain and nothing to worry about. Yes, well, I'm just going to check and see if there is anything else going on that we've overlooked so far. I'm sorry to bring out the torch again, but I want to check that there's no lasting effects of a concussion or something. Okay, can you follow the torch for me? Keep your head still and just move your eyes. Sorry, I know it's a bit bright. It's really important that we make sure there's nothing else going on. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to ask you to just stare at me straight ahead and I will move the torch. Okay, great. Now I'm going to ask you to focus on my finger and again don't move your head itself but follow with your eyes, okay? Okay, good. Now I'm going to cover one of your eyes one at a time. And again, just stare straight ahead for me. So keep staring ahead for me. That's great. And now the other side. Okay, that's great. Do you get any pain in your neck when you move your head? Can you try moving your head for me? So, first to the left and then to the right. Okay, slight pain. There shouldn't be too much to worry about. Can you look down for me? And then to the centre, and then back up, and then to the centre. Okay. Okay, that's great. Okay, now I'm just going to check your hearing to make sure there's nothing underlying. Sadly, due to your fall, it may not have only affected your vision but your hearing as well. So I'm just going to check. I'm going to check your left side first, please, if you could just gently turn your head.
Okay. Yeah, that's great. And now the other side for me. Okay, let's see. Right, okay. Now I'm going to cover each ear at a time and I'm going to click my fingers. Just tell me if you can hear them, okay? Just tell me if you can hear it. So. Okay, and now the other side. Okay. So, the right side seems to be a bit dodgy. Don't worry. And on a scale of 1 to 10, how muffled is my voice? Right, okay. That shouldn't be anything to worry about too much. You may just have some dust caught in there, but we'll sort it as soon as we get to the surface. Yeah. Do you think that you might be able to try and stand shortly? Right, okay. Yes. Well, that's good then. It means you haven't done any proper damage. You need your legs most of all to get out of this cave with me. Mm-hmm. Yes, best thing to do is when you fall, not to tense up too much, but I know that's easier said than done when you're falling like that and it's a bit of a shock. Well, we'll just have a rest for now because we don't want to cause any immediate trauma, and it will do you well to have a rest. Yes. <laughs> yes, don't worry about that too much. The rest of the team will search on ahead and clear a path for us to make it easier to exit. Mm. I will surely help you walk as well, just in case, but... I'm fairly confident that you haven't got a concussion, or at least it's not bad enough that I can't let you rest for a moment. Yeah, so it will do you some good, and you'll need to preserve your energy for when we make a move out the cave. Yes, don't worry. I'll stop various creatures crawling over you while you sleep. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So I will sit here and I will wake you when it's time to make a move and when the rest of the team radio through. Okay. Sleep well. <laughs>